Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Highness expressed sincere condolences and sympathies to His Majesty the King on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his kind and noble feelings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who expressed condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King over the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty the King expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed for his noble feelings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the head of the Royal Family Council, received at Safriya Palace the members of the council who expressed to His Majesty the deepest condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. They recalled with appreciation the pride, the achievements and efforts of the late prince during the march and serving the country and its people, as well as his contributions to the development, progress and prosperity of the kingdom and the fulfillment of citizens' needs in all fields. They pray to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and to bless his majesty the king with lasting good health and happiness and grant his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa success in fulfilling his national duties to continue to achieve the aspirations and visions of his majesty the king. His Majesty exchanged condolences with the attendees praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late prince in vast paradise. His Majesty hailed the role of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman during his national march and the development Bahrain witnessed in various domains and sectors during his leadership of the government. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain is confidently pro proceeding on its march towards achieving further gains for the country and its people. He expressed appreciation for the role of the Royal Family Council members and their efforts, wishing them success in serving the country and its people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Khir Air Base the Saudi Minister of State, Member of the Cabinet and Advisor to the Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, His Royal Highness Prince Dr. Mansour bin Mut'ab bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Saudi Minister of Energy, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and their accompanying delegation to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to their Royal Highnesses and their accompanying delegation for paying their respects and offering their condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Khir Air Base His Highness Sheikh Sroor bin Muhammad Al Nahyan and his accompanying delegation to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Sroor and his accompanying delegation for paying their respects and offering their condolences.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Sheer Air Base the Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Arabia and Gulf Affairs in the Near East Bureau at the U.S. Department of State Timothy Lander King and his accompanying delegation to offer condolences following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere gratitude to the Deputy Assistant Secretary and his accompanying delegation for paying their respects and offering their condolences. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Advisor to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the grandsons of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received heads of diplomatic missions accredited to Bahrain to offer condolences over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The diplomats expressed their sincere sympathy and condolences, praising the deceased efforts in the renaissance and development of the kingdom, and in strengthening its external relations, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. The deputy premiers thanked them for their noble feelings, wishing them continued success.
Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa received businessman Hisham Ali to offer condolences over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Deputy Premier expressed his appreciation to Hisham Ali for his noble feelings and sincere condolences, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa received at Khair Air Base in the presence of the advisor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the grandsons of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Sheikh Mohammed bin Nahyan bin Mubarak Al Nahyan Sheikh Shakhbout bin Nahyan bin Mubarak Al Nahyan and Sheikh Mubarak bin Nahyan bin Mubarak Al Nahyan to offer their condolences on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa they expressed their condolences, hailing the efforts exerted by the late prince for the development of Bahrain, recalling his contributions and enhancing bilateral ties and supporting the march of joint Gulf and Arab action. They prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation for their kind sentiments, which reflects the depth of brotherly ties between the two countries, wishing the UAE and its people progress under its wise leadership. The Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa received at Khair Air Base in the presence of the advisor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the sons of the the son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the grandsons of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mubarak Jabar Al Ahmed Al Jabar Al Sabah, Sheikh Fahad Jabar Al Ahmed Al Jabar Al Sabah, and Sheikh Mishal Jabar Al Ahmed Al Jabar Al Sabah, who arrived from Kuwait to offer condolences on the demise of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The guests expressed their deep condolences, noting the friendly relations between the late Prince and Kuwait and its people, as well as his keenness on bolstering these relations in various fields. They prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to the guests for their noble sentiments and sincere condolences, which reflect the deep-rooted brotherly relations between their countries. He wished Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity. The Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Thamar Jabr al-Ahmed al-Sabah, also attended the meeting. The Shura Council has utilized His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, stressing that he was a true patriotic symbol who guided government action with wisdom, skills, aptitudes, right approaches, and robust principles. The Council, holding its regular weekly session, issued a statement mourning His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa, who passed away on Wednesday as a Bahraini icon who put the country and the citizens at the top of his priorities throughout 50 years of continuous devotion to the nation.
The statement said that the feelings of pain and sorrow that Bahraini citizens have shown and their expressions of condolences and sympathy are a great indication of the prominent position that His Royal Highness holds in the hearts of the people and a reflection of his prominent role in elevating the status of the nation. The Council recalled with pride and gratitude His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa's tireless endeavors to strengthen the relationship between the legislative and executive branches and provide all means of support to enable everyone to assume their roles with effectiveness and generosity. He held a firm belief that concerted efforts and a steady cooperation can achieve comprehensive progress for the beloved country. The statement added that His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa possessed the ability to bring together all segments and components of the Bahraini society. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was always keen on conducting field visits to all areas and villages in Bahrain to provide development services that meet the needs of citizens through vital projects within the framework of development march led by His Majesty the King. Fulfilling the best living standards for citizens has always been the top priority of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The issues of citizens were the focus of His Royal Highness's concerns. He was always keen on achieving the aspirations of citizens and seeking their satisfaction with the services provided by the government. His Royal Highness always personally followed up on development and all projects in the kingdom to serve the people of Bahrain. Through the weekly held cabinet meetings, the late prince was keen to follow up on the housing and development situation in the kingdom, to get closely acquainted with the stages of the development, construction and housing process in the kingdom, as he always directed to prioritize the interests of Bahraini citizens and provide them with an appropriate environment, which affirms that the development and stability of the Bahraini citizen is the government's priority. The late Prime Minister always stressed the importance of providing services and meeting the needs of citizens to ensure a decent life and social stability. These efforts were reflected in the thousands of housing requests and many development and services projects throughout the Kingdom and implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of the government to achieve further guarantees of social stability according to the highest standards. During the past years, the late prince continued his field trips to governorates to oversee the conditions of citizens and closely follow up on their affairs. During those visits, His Royal Highness was keen on listening to citizens directly regarding their situations, needs and aspirations. The late prince had a record full of achievements in all fields, which made him the leading and pioneering personality who raised the name of the Kingdom of Bahrain in all Gulf, regional and international forums, and made him a model to be emulated in the world. The streets of the Kingdom of Bahrain were filled with expressive pictures to bid farewell to His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Kingdom of Bahrain expresses sadness after the people of Bahrain lost one of its greatest men, who was a father and a protector of the homeland and the citizens. The people of Bahrain bid farewell to the late prince with deep sadness after a march full of generosity, sincerity and loyalty in the love of the homeland and loyalty to the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations. He was a true role model who offered many lessons in wise humanitarian diplomacy and a history of success, leadership and distinction and keenness to elevate the Bahraini citizen and the service of mankind.